Welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, my name is Chantel and I love to do Dollar Tree DIYs and DIYs on a budget, especially now when things have gotten so expensive. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some high-end decor projects that we're going to make on a Dollar Tree budget. All of these projects cost less than $10 to make and most of them were less than five. So let's not wait any longer, let's get started. For this high-end look, I'm going to be using this wire pencil holder from Dollar Tree and it's kind of a rose gold color, which is pretty, but I'm going to be spraying mine with some black spray paint. And then uh, I'm just going to be using it to put a candle in and you can use a, any kind of jar that will fit down inside of the pencil holder or you could even not use a container and just use one of these LED candles from Dollar Tree as well to just sit down inside of that. And so we're going to give this a little bit more of a modern look and go spray paint it with the black paint. So I found this at Dollar Tree. It's actually a coaster that's inside of a little base. And this looks like real wood, but it's actually kind of a veneer over the top of it. So it wouldn't be good to paint, but um, I like the natural wood color of that. And so um, the interesting thing is, is that if you take the little coaster out, this fits down inside perfectly. And so you could use that as a base, although if you want to have it sit up higher, and have this sit on top, which is what I think I want to do, then I'm just going to turn my coaster over and I'm going to paint it using some black chalk paint. not going to paint the edges or this other side that way if I want to turn it over and use this side at any time I can. And once the paint is dry I'm going to put a coat of gloss Mod Podge over the top. I want it a little bit shiny because it will match the finish of the pencil holder better and the Mod Podge is also going to help keep the paint from scratching or peeling off. If you aren't able to find this coaster with the frame at Dollar Tree, you can also use some tumbling tower blocks. I used a total of 24 blocks to create a base. I'm just using some super glue wood glue to glue these blocks together in a row of six. Then I'm going to add another row of six to that to make a square for my pencil holder to sit on. I'm going to repeat this so that I have two squares and then I'm going to glue those two squares together to give my base a little bit of height. The nice thing about the tumbling tower blocks is that they are real wood and so you can stain them if you'd like. If you don't have stain or you don't want to purchase stain, you can just use a brown paint and water it down a little bit and it acts uh, very much like stain and I think it's actually easier to use. go inside of my little wire pencil holder. I'm going to be using this jar that I got at Dollar Tree, but I am going to remove the little jute um, handle on it because I think that will uh, go better with the look that I'm going for. And these are really easy because they're just little clips. But if you can't find these, any jar that will fit inside here will work or even just the little LED candles from Dollar Tree fit in here really nicely. 
So that painted coaster fits really nice back in there. It looks really sleek and it just makes a nice base for this pencil holder to sit on. And I'm not even going to glue it on because that just gives me more options. The base that I made with the tumbling tower blocks give a, gives a completely different look because you can see that wood stain underneath the candle. I sort of feel like I need something in the jar, so I just kind of looked around to see. You could put stones in there, you could put sand in there, but I found these little pieces of chain left over from a project that I did. And I put these in there around the candle and I really like this because it's unique and it gives it kind of that industrial feel. We're going to start with these candlesticks from Dollar Tree. I love the little leaf detail on them and the fact that there are three different sizes. So I picked up one of each size. And then because the gold is not my decor style, I'm going to use some of this Rust-Oleum metallic paint and primer in one in the oil rubbed bronze. And you can see this will be the color of it. So I'm just going to go spray all three of these candlesticks in this paint. For my candles, I am going to be using these four hour emergency candles. There's six in a package from Dollar Tree. And I really like these because they are the perfect length for those little candlesticks. But also, if you look real close, you can see kind of a little bit of a design in them. And um, it looks a little bit frosted and I think that gives it a more high-end look. So I'm going to be using these candles in my candlesticks. So now I have my little candlesticks with that oil rubbed bronze paint on them, but remember that gold is still under there and I do want to reveal, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of that paint. So I'm going to use some sandpaper and just uh, randomly brush off some of the or sand off some of the oil rubbed bronze paint so that you can see that gold finish uh, coming through. This gives it more of an antique look and that's really kind of more my style than just the uh, full on shiny gold or kind of rose gold. So it really just depends on what your style is and what you like. You can customize these to fit it. For this project, I will be using this wood leaf cutout from Dollar Tree. This is such a great size for $1.25 and they have several different styles. I'll also be using this canvas board. This is 11 by 14 inches 
and I'm going to also use a regular canvas, 11 by 14, one that has the wood frame in it. This is optional, but I think it gives this project a little bit more of a higher end look. I will also be using some of this self-adhesive shelf liner from Dollar Tree. I'd never seen this design before there, and I think it's just beautiful and will work perfect for this project. I'll also be using some black chalk paint and a little sawtooth picture hanger. I'm going to start by removing the jute hanger off of my wood cutout. And then I'm going to fill that hole. And you could use wood filler, but that takes a little bit of time to dry. So I like to use a little trick using a metal ruler and my hot glue gun. So the side that you want to look real nice and smooth, you're going to turn that upside down onto the ruler. Then you're going to fill the back side of the hole with your hot glue. And then just keep that pressed up against that ruler until the glue sets. Once it's set, then you can just pop that ruler off and you'll have a really nice smooth surface to paint over. Then I'm going to paint one side and the edges of my wood leaf cut out with my black chalk paint. I didn't bother to paint the back because that's going to be glued down and you'll never see it. While my paint is drying, I am going to set that aside and then I'm going to prep my canvas. I'm going to be using the canvas board first and I'm going to cover it using this self-adhesive shelf liner. I like that the shelf liner has the grid lines on the back so it makes it really easy to cut a straight line. I'm going to set my canvas on here and I'm just going to cut this about uh, an inch extra on each side. Next I'm going to peel my backing down about three or four inches to reveal the adhesive and I'm going to uh, just stick that on the top of my canvas board and I'm still going to leave that inch overlap at the top. Then I'm going to slowly pull the paper backing down as I smooth out the shelf liner with my Cricut burnishing tool and uh, just try and keep as many wrinkles and bubbles out of it. I find this is the easiest way to do this. I have tried it where I lay my shelf liner face down with the adhesive side up and then try to put my canvas on top of it. That never works. I always get wrinkles when I do that. So this is the technique that I have found works the best. And I didn't get mine centered the best here, but I still think I have enough on the top to fold over the board. So I'm going to trim the corners so that it makes it easier to fold over the edges. And then I'm just going to fold, fold all four sides over the canvas board so that I have a nice clean edge. Then I'm going to flip that over, make sure all the wrinkles are out of it. And then I'm going to place my leaf cutout on the board and decide how I like it best. And I'm going to use this Fix All Adhesive from Dollar Tree. I really like this. It's like E6000, but it comes in a smaller tube. I don't know about you, but my big tubes of E6000 always get all dried up and hard before I use them all. And I end up throwing half of it away. So this is a great size and it works just as well as E6000. The reason that I am using this glue instead of hot glue is because it takes a little bit of time to put the glue on the back of this 
and your hot glue would be set up before you ever got glue on the whole piece. So you need something that you have a little bit of time to work with. And I'm going to use a couple of really heavy books to put on top of this until that glue has a little bit of time to set up. Once the glue is set, you could stop with this and just put a hanger on the back, but I think it gives it an elevated look, a more high-end look to add it to this canvas. So it's going to give it a little bit of depth. It's also going to cover the back of the canvas board where that shelf liner is stuck down. And this is just going to give it that finishing touch to give it a more expensive look. This next project is super simple. All you need is this tea light holder from Dollar Tree and some black spray paint. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to transform this into something that looks really high end. The finish on this tea light holder is kind of a cheap gold color. It's not very pretty, so we're going to change that. First, I'm going to remove the little tea light holder. And to do this, you just want to carefully uh, wiggle it back and forth and it will eventually loosen up and then you can just pull it off. Once that is off, if there's any rough spots, you can kind of sand them down a little bit with some coarse sandpaper and then just spray paint it. That's all we're going to do to this is give it a nice shiny coat of black spray paint. It's so simple, but just by changing the finish on this, it turns it into a cute little accent piece to add to your decor. Next, I'm going to show you two different ways that I transformed these wood decor pieces from Dollar Tree into some really high-end looking pieces. For this first one, I will be using one of these tumbling tower blocks, and I'm going to be using one of these candles from Dollar Tree that have the wood top. And these candles actually smell really good too. I am going to remove the jute twine hanger on this and I am going to be using some wood stain, but actually I'm going to be using paint that's watered down. For this project, I think this is the best way to do this. Um, stain can be hard to control and uh, this is going to be a little bit precise. Um, however, the raised areas on this sign make it a little bit easier. So I'm just using some water and a little bit of brown paint. Actually, I think this might be antique wax, but um, I'm just going to mix that up until it is the color that I'm happy with. And then I'm using a very fine brush because I want to make sure I only get this stain where I want it to be. And before I start painting, I do want to fill that hole on the top with some wood filler. 
Uh, I can't use my hot glue gun trick for this because uh, the hot glue does not stain. So I'm using some stainable wood filler to fill that hole. Once the hole is filled and the, the filler is dry, then I just take a little bit of sandpaper and sand that off so it's nice and smooth. And now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start staining just the tree part on this sign. And uh, this is watery, but the wood absorbs the water and this actually makes it a little bit easier to paint. So you wanna make sure you don't get too much on your brush because you don't want it dripping everywhere. Once it drips, um, then you can't really get rid of that. So you wanna be really careful and take your time with this, but I'm just going to go over the entire piece and stain just the raised part of this, leaving the background that natural wood color. Next, I'm going to take that wood lid off of the candle, and I'm going to take my one little tumbling tower block, and I'm going to hot glue that so that the front edge of it is kind of in the center of that circle, because I'm going to use this as a little stand to glue my tree to. So I'm just going to attach that tumbling tower block with a little bit of hot glue onto that candle lid. And then I'm going to attach my tree to that base also using a little bit of hot glue. And this is really light, so it's not going to be uh, tippy or anything. Um, it's really pretty sturdy. Another simple project using only a couple items from Dollar Tree, but it looks so high end. Now I want to show you a different way to transform this just using some colored acrylic craft paint. So I'm using a midnight blue color. This is just regular craft paint, but I'm going to water it down just like I did the brown, and we're going to make a stain out of this. Stain does not have to be just brown or shades of brown. It can be any color. And so I'm going to basically do the same technique. However, this time I am going to only be painting the background and I'm going to leave the tree the natural wood color. And so this is a little bit more time consuming uh, because you're having to get into the little crevices with your tiny little brush, but um, it's well worth it. So um, it's something that you can do while you're listening to music or watching a movie and um, just fill in all of those background pieces. And I decided that I wanted to kind of give mine a little bit of an ombre look. So I went over the bottom portion uh, again and made that darker. And then I watered my paint down just a little bit more. And in the middle section, I went over that a second time, but because it was watered down more, it wasn't quite as dark as the bottom part. And so this gave it an ombre look, and I really like how it turned out. I did not have another candle with the little wooden top, so to make my base, I'm just going to use two or three of these tumbling tower blocks. I'm going to put one on the front and one on the back just to kind of sandwich uh, this tree piece in between to make a little stand. And then I'm also going to glue one vertically in the back just to give it a little bit more stability. I'm not sure if that's really necessary, but I decided to go ahead and do it anyway.
Let me know in the comments which project you like the best and if you'll be trying any of these. If you enjoyed this video and these projects, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, then hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me out. And don't forget to hit that bell and set your notifications so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.